Hi everybody, it's Tiff Jensen. I just thought I'd make a quick video to alleviate any frustrations you may be having. Thank you for your patience. I've been able to get some of those links worked out so they can open better and, and things work more smoothly. So I'm on a Google page and I'm here to show you how to um, navigate to SPSS, the free version provided by your fees at the University of Florida. So as you can tell, it's Eclipse Day. So we have the little Eclipse logo for Google. Go ahead and type into your browser URL, apps.ufl.edu. And once you type that in, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. So it'll have a prompt for your Gatorlink ID and password. So go ahead and sign in for that. And after that, you'll see there's a little thing that says Citrix Receiver. Okay, um, if you've never used apps.ufl.edu, you'll be prompted to download the Citrix receiver. It's basically a plugin that allows you to do a virtual desktop of lots of different software we have on campus. So you may be prompted for that step. Um, go ahead and download it just like you would download something like Silverlight or Java or any of those kinds of plugins you've used in the past and get that installed. Um, once it's installed, you'll be prompted with a message like this. I'm using Google Chrome. Open Citrix Receiver Launcher, yes. Um, you can check box that in the future so you don't have to wait. But then you'll see this little starting application uh, dialog box, and you'll be prompted to uh, get into the software you want. And what's funny is the more you do this, the more UF Apps remembers where you go. So once you're in the page, you can go to Apps and actually look up lots of different applications. So they have Adobe, they have Corel, they have um, CAT, you know, all kinds of software for engineers and architects and all the different things that we do on campus that are specific to the major that you're studying. So when you're on this page, um, you can go do kind of a A to Z, find my software, um, or you can simply scroll down to about the middle of the page where you see IBM SPSS Statistics 24. That's what you want. So once you find that, you can hit Details. I'm going to move this over so you can see a little bit better. So it says, um, would you, you know, do you want to open this or remove it? We want to open. And again, it's going to prompt you to do that launcher. Okay, and once that happens, your screen will start to change like this. You'll get a dialog box that puts you into SPSS. I already opened it up previously, so I have two of them open. But this is SPSS. Um, you may not have been in this ever, or maybe it's been a while since you were in it. But as you can tell, you can actually drag the corners of the software window and make it bigger. So if you want to see more data at once, you can. You have full access to all these different file menus inside the software. We're going to be using the Analyze menu quite a bit. So this is the free version uh, of SPSS located at apps.ufl.edu. So the first time you sign in, you get the Citrix server launched. It'll be a little clunky to, to get it set up. But after that, it remembers this application, it bookmarks it for you, so you'll be driven right to the software. So if you have around 100 megabytes per second speed, which is pretty common residential speed um, that you'll find from Cox or AT&T, you'll be just fine. If you're on a slower speed, you'll notice there occasionally will be some a few second delays. Um, but I've tested this software personally and stressed it and actually dumped data and run um, thousands of functions at once. It actually handles it really well. It's operating off a multi-terabyte server. So, uh, so I think you'll find the speed and everything works well. But again, if you don't want to use this free version on apps.ufl.edu, you can certainly buy the software package at on the hub. And I talk about that in the welcome video. So if you want to learn how to install the software directly to your computer, See the video, it's towards the end, and it'll show you where you can buy that for an educational discount. All right, hope this helps. And again, reach out to me if you have any other problems. Thanks.